Hi guys, hope you're all doing well. Welcome back to our channel and in this video I'm going to talk about some of the very basic concepts that you must know and that can help you to get started with Microsoft Cloud App Security. So if you're watching the series from the beginning, in the last video we have discussed about what is Microsoft Cloud App Security, what all features makes it fall under the category of a CASB solution itself and how Microsoft Cloud App Security is termed as a uniquely integrated CASB solution. Whereas the core agenda of this video will be knowing what are the license requirements, what are the roles which you need to get assigned to a specific users so that they can access portal.cloudappsecurity.com which is the CASB portal itself and how the dedicated RBAC service which is available with the CASB portal itself works in a nutshell. Okay, so let's proceed by knowing the license requirements itself. When we talk about MCAS, MCAS is a kind of service for which you can go ahead and buy standalone licenses, whereas MCAS is also included with E3 and E5 schools altogether. Okay, but the fact is that when we talk about E3, only the shadow IT part is something which can be achieved that means with e3 you only get cloud app discovery part of mcas whereas all the advanced capabilities likewise data protection or dlp or conditional access app control or session policies or file policies these kind of configuration can only be done with e5 SKU. okay now there is a very uh, nice document of which I came across when I was uh, referring to the licensing part and I have added that link over here, but I'll just quickly open this document on the browser itself and I will show you that this is a kind of document which you may be looking for because I was looking for this kind of a document and this is the document which is not only listing uh, the MCAS license details, but it is also listing all the new schools which are announced lately by Microsoft. For example, M365E5 security and M365E5 compliance. So just for your reference, I'm going to add this particular link in the description. If you want to know more details about all these licensing schools and what kind of feature of MCAS will be available individually with these schools, please go ahead and read this document, okay? Now let's talk about the next part, which is the portal and the roles itself. Okay, so in order to access Microsoft Cloud App Security portal, you have to navigate to portal.cloudappsecurity.com. Now by default, global admin and security admin role of Azure AD. I repeat this once again. Now by default, global admin and security admin role of Azure AD have the full access to MCAS portal. But as I've said before, that there are certain roles which exist in MCAS portal itself, which gives you the privilege to define the scope for a specific user altogether. Now, what do I mean by this? That let's say if I'm assigning a user a role from Azure AD, Okay, let's say I'm assigning any of these roles. Then wherever the capabilities when it comes to admin tasks are related to that particular role on a specific portal altogether, the users will be able to execute those tasks. But the fact is that when we talk about Microsoft Cloud App Security Portal, it has a dedicated RBAC roles defined. Now, what do I mean by this? That if you go to portal.cloudappsecurity.com, this is the home page of your CASB portal itself. And then if you'll click on setting, and then if you'll click on manage admin access, and then if you'll click on this add button, you can see I'm getting certain roles listed over here. Now this global admin is not the global admin role, which you see in your Azure AD. Right now, that's the basic difference in terms of understanding how the dedicated RBAC roles of MCAS portal are defined, right? So let's say you have a requirement wherein certain group of users, they are the owner of uh, defining all the CASB capabilities for your enterprise. And they should be responsible for making all the changes, reviewing the data and 
everything let's say that's coming to MCAS portal then what you can do is you can give them global admin access from this particular portal instead of giving global admin from Azure Active Directory itself okay now there is one more thing which I would like to show here and that is Microsoft Cloud App Security you know this is something which we have discussed in our last video as well that there are certain amount of data which we upload and which gets processed by Microsoft Cloud App Security itself now depending upon the location that you have selected there are dedicated data centers where this processing happens under the hood okay so basically you can click on this help icon and then click on about I'll show it again click on help and then click on about and you'll come to know which version of MCAS instance is as of now that's working for your enterprise and where exactly this information is getting saved or which data center is processing the information that's more over related for your enterprise okay so the first thing that you need to keep in mind that you should have appropriate license step number one read this document make yourself familiar with the different schools which are available or one more verification process you can do and that is by simply going to Azure Active Directory and then clicking on license click on all products and then check if you have any valid school so likewise in this particular tenant I have EMS E5 so if I'll click on service plan detail as you can see Microsoft Cloud App Security is getting listed over here that means I will be able to use all the capabilities which CASB as a solution has to offer right so this was all about knowing how the licensing part works for MCAS and what other different roles available why it is better to assign roles through MCAS portal instead of assigning them from Azure AD because the MCAS portal roles they are very limited to the CASB portal itself which is not the case with the Azure AD roles right so let's talk about a quick summary of what all we have discussed in this particular video we have discussed about license requirements role based access control and why it is important for you to use the RBAC capabilities of MCAS portal itself right in the next video we are going to talk about cloud app discovery part itself and we'll use a sample log which we will upload to MCAS portal itself and then we will see how we are getting different set of results in terms of checking the security and compliance state of different applications altogether. So if you think that this channel is helping you to learn anything new please feel free to subscribe and share this video with your technical community. Thank you so much. Thanks for your time.